Hey everybody, I'm going to just do a real quick video on the new Cray Fuel power station that I've got here and then I'll do a full review on this uh, when the weather's a little bit warmer. We've actually got 17 degrees below zero out here today. Um, that's about 27, 28 degrees below Celsius. Um, it's a super cold day. So I'm staying inside today. I'm doing a quick video on this and I'll do a full review of it on my channel here shortly. What I have here is the Crayfuel 1000 watt power station. Uh, I'm currently charging it. You can see that that's charging it up. I'm up to 97% right now. But it's a really cool little station. So you turn this thing on. Um, you've got a light here as well. If you're going to be like using it on camping trips or just in, in uh, power outage situations, that kind of thing. So you've got your percentage here that shows uh, how much battery is left. You can charge through solar panels here, or you can charge it as I am right now, just using the charger plugged in. Uh, the solar panels are come in this really nice case and that folds out. So it's actually twice that size. But uh, my thinking on this was that rather than buy another battery specifically for each e-bike or something like that, um, so that I can increase my distances, if I have a unit like this, I can use it on all my bikes. I can use it for uh, camping, for hooking up lights in power outage situations. Um, I can charge all my cameras off of this. Um, can do so much with this versus if I bought just another e-bike battery as a backup. It's only good for that one bike and I can't really use it for anything else. So this has way more uh, uses than that and the, the price isn't really all that much more um, e-bike batteries are expensive so this currently I'm not going to quote you any prices because they change all the time but this is currently on sale now as a first of the year sale and it's almost half price so go to crayfuel.com um, this is how it's spelled and look up this unit and you'll also need the solar panel with it. That comes, that costs a little bit extra. I'll fold that out in a second and show you that. Um, but the unit here is really nice. I, I threw this on the scale. This is about 18 pounds. Uh, my normal e-bike battery, like for the, the Ranger here, this big guy, this is a 20 amp hour battery. This is 12 pounds. So I'm only six pounds more than the stock battery and I can do so much with this. So I'm going to unhook this, hook up the charger to my battery. This needs to be charged, show you the, how that works. And I'm going to unfold the uh, solar panels here and show you that as well. The unit comes with its own charger here. It's very much similar to a, an e-bike charger. Um, this is for plug-in. You've got uh, the cords to hook your solar panel up. You've got other adapters here. So the solar panel, looks something like this folded out really nice uh, I believe it's 100 watt so it I have tried it out in the Sun and it was charging this unit surprisingly quick so I know that's gonna work really well um, but it appears to be really nice quality it's very heavy um, in its construction and all that not not physical weight but a real nice unit so you just plug in your e-bike charger like you normally would take your e-bike battery charger Plug that into the AC and then turn the AC on. You'll see a green light come on. I may have not pushed that hard enough because I'm wearing gloves. Let's try that again. There's a green light and then you'll see your battery charger go on. So I have charged e-bike batteries off of this over the last week and it works beautifully. Um, I can get an easy full charge into one of these big 20 amp hour batteries from this unit. I think this unit's gonna work really well on camping trips. That's what I'm mostly gonna be using it for. Theoretically, when I hook up my cargo trailer, I can have this in one of the compartments and I can open up the solar panel and have that over the top of everything in the cargo trailer to actually be charging this unit while I ride during the day. When I get to camp, I set up the solar panels, get a, a little more time in, get a full charge on this, and then I'll be able to fully charge my e-bike 
in the evenings every time that I'm out. So I could go out for multiple day trips in the backcountry with this unit. Um, so far it's worked perfectly for me. I've run an electric chainsaw off of it and some other things just playing around to see what it would do and it, uh, the battery life seems really long on it. So it's great. So very excited about this. Um, again, if you're interested in one of these, go check it out at crayfuel.com. But once again, a little bit later on, I'll have a full review of this unit. But thanks. Appreciate you watching.